Hey guys, so this is part two of um, how does God feel about gay people. And um, so I um, just wanted to get uh, make a part two and get a little bit more into it. Um, so I know this might sound crazy, um, but I also wanted to say that, um, you know, how a lot of people think that God hates gay people and, um, and how Christians hate gay people. I actually want to, um, I want to say this and I know it might sound crazy, but I personally feel like gay people and Christians can actually, um, really um they relate to each other and um obviously not by uh uh their actions but by how they're treated um so a lot of people don't know the history behind um you know Jesus and um they don't, people don't actually know how it came to be what it is now. And a lot of people think that this teaching of Jesus came out and, um, or uh, a belief of this man named Jesus and, you know, everyone, uh, you know, just went crazy for it and loved it and accepted it and, you know, started to, um, you know, started to build churches and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, and, uh, you know, that's how a lot of people see it. They, they think that, um, people just came to accept Christ. And, um, the truth is, is that, you know, the traditions you see, um, and, um, a lot of, uh, some of the teachings that you hear, um, doesn't actually come from God. And, you know, Christians, the truth is, the people of God have never been respected. Um, the people of God have never, uh, necessarily been on a pedestal like like they think they are um people don't know that um the teachings of Jesus Christ um you know after it spread and you know people began to hear about it uh there were a lot of people that didn't accept it and there were a lot of people that did and some of those people were pagans and you know instead of um these people uh you know turning away from vain traditions um like the bible talks about uh you know worshiping um false gods and you know stuff like that and instead of them doing that they ended up mixing their beliefs with uh their belief of Jesus and um they ended up mix you know mixing it with uh their traditions and um you know and because of that it kind of warped um you know what you see now is not the it, it's not the original um that's not how uh God intended his people to be um you know it was stolen and um you know how uh people pretty much blame uh god for um the people of god for persecution and um the persecution that they did um that these pagans did after they took in uh they um you use the name of God pretty much um after they took it in uh 
they persecuted a lot of people and they also uh, caused a lot of deaths. And a lot of people blame God for that. But what uh, another thing that people don't know is that some of those people that died were believers. Um, believers were um, persecuted by pagans and, um, you know, they were killed. Anyone that did not accept their beliefs um, and their traditions were persecuted. And, um, you know, and because of that, uh, the name of God is slandered. Um, it's, you know, people don't actually see God for who he is because they see all this, uh, religious stuff of going to church and, you know, I'm not saying this to offend anyone. Um, you guys can do this research yourself. Um, but, you know, uh, confessing to the priest and, um, you know, Hail Mary and uh, the pastor, you know, being on the pulpit. And uh, like, I have this book called Va uh, Pagan Christianity, and it goes through all of that stuff. You know, it doesn't go against the Bible. It pretty much clears up uh, what God was, t um, what God actually meant in the Bible and, you know, uh, where some of these traditions came from and, you know, it pretty much just blows, that book blows everything out of the water that, um, a lot of believers out there are just religious and they don't truly have a relationship with God. They're not, uh, they're not truly, um, they don't truly know God and all this, uh, religious stuff, um, of just going to church and all of that. It's just really, it's actually in the way. And, um, it, it's not, it's not really getting you closer to God. Um, it's just vain tradition that never came from God. And, um, you know, uh, but pretty much how, uh, the point that I'm trying to make is, um, how the uh, believers were always, um, you know, treated less than, and, um, even before it hit the world by storm, if you read the Bible, uh, the believers were outcasts. They, it's not something that most people accepted, um, you know, like most people now believe that they just accepted any story about some mystical person or where, no, people back then, you know, um, they believed people back then were stupid and they just accepted stuff like that. And no, people back then, they, they questioned stuff like that as well. Um, but, you know, I just feel like gays and Christians, um, you know, they can really relate to each other, you know, um, you know, Christians don't, um, you know, they, they don't have to, we don't have, people don't have to always agree with maybe one another's decision. Um, but you know, that doesn't mean that you, you still can't learn something from that person. Um, that doesn't mean that you, um, and just cause you might disagree, uh, it doesn't mean that you hate that person or you see them less as a person. Um, so, yeah, I, I wanted to also say that, um, you know, make this video and, uh, and, um, you know, just say all of that. And, um, you know, I, I also want to talk about how sometimes um, you know, if a person, whether they be religious or not, if they happen to, um, disagree with 
homosexuality, um, or not even disagree, but they, um, I don't know, they, I guess they might question, uh, that action, um, not even saying, like, uh, a gay person has to explain themselves, but, you know, uh, they just have their thoughts on, um, that action, um, you know, a lot of people jump and they say, oh, homophobic or, you know, and they, they treat that person. Um, there's been times where, uh, people are treated badly because, um, they, you know, they may have said something about homosexuality or, you know, and, um, I just, I just want to say, uh, to anyone that, um, might be doing that, how are you any different from, a you know, someone that might believe in God and they believe that, you know, um, people shouldn't be gay or, you know, and everything. Um, how are you any different from those people? If people want peace, if people want to get along with each other, you have to come to accept that not everyone is going to agree with what you do. Um, not, not everyone's going to agree with your life decisions. Um, whether you choose to um, believe in you know a higher power, whether you don't, um, whether you choose to be with a woman, whether you choose to be you know, with whoever, um, you know, not everyone is going to, um, you know, people might not agree with whatever decision you make, but that doesn't mean that, um, that that person doesn't care for you. That doesn't mean that that person, um, you know, looks down at you in any sort of way. Um, you know, you can, uh, you know, a lot of people, I became a Christian at 15 years old. It's not something I grew up in. I didn't grow up going to church. I didn't read the Bible. Um, and at one point I didn't even like, I didn't even like the idea of, uh, being, um, uh, believing in Jesus, specifically Jesus, because, um, you know, Christians, they just, uh, you know, they just don't have a good look. Um, you know, you think of all that harsh stuff, like, um, people think of, uh, these people just being very judgmental and hateful towards, um, people that are outside of their belief. And, you know, that's not, you know, that's not God. That's, it's not God to be judgmental. It's not God to, um, be hateful in any sort of way, you know, um, that doesn't even, you know, want, that doesn't even bring people closer, uh, to God. It doesn't make them want God. It you know, it makes them want to turn away from God because nobody likes uh, to feel judged. Nobody, um, you know, in a hateful judgment. Nobody, nobody wants that. Um, so, yeah, I just, that's not another thing I wanted to uh, get out in this video. And again, I'm not saying this to offend anyone. Um, you know, I'm not saying this to necessarily, uh, try to persuade anyone, but I just feel like as a believer and, you know, me seeing, uh, all of this and, um, you know, just seeing how people think that we're going to hate them if we're, they're doing something that's, um, something that, you know, the Bible, uh, you know, says not to do. And, um, you know, we, uh, 
we, we don't hate you guys. And um, the truth is, a person that's really, truly close to God is going to, um, you know, they're going to respect you guys regardless. Um, they may not always agree, but it's not God's heart to be disrespectful towards anyone. So that's all I want to say in this video.